ESPN came out with their top 200 players, which uh, Dave and Roast Beef completely hated. Hated it. Thought the, the, the names were all wrong. Maybe the janitor had some spare time because there's no writers left at ESPN because I guess when they want to go uh, into a uh, firing frenzy, which seems to be what we like to do in this industry, uh, no one seemed to really like that 200 list. Now, uh, Hockey News came out with their uh, top 50. So we got the top 25 in front of us right now. So uh, I'll go back to our good friend Dave Bastel. You're looking at this list. You're looking at those names. This is just the top 25. Yeah. Did they have a more accurate list? <sighs> you know what? Some of these names are just hurting me as far as point production is concerned. Because you, if you look at it, I'm okay with the top five. Just looking at Mc, uh, McDavid, Crosby, Carlson, Kane, Price. Uh, but after that, I think they overrate Sergei Bravrovsky on number six. It makes no sense uh, for a, a Patrice Bergeron and a Jonathan Taves to be at 11 and 12. Mark Shifley, it is a crime that he isn't in the top eight. He's listed as 15, which makes absolutely no sense. Austin Matthews, I wouldn't put at number eight. However, I would put him in the top 12. So I don't think this is as far as away as possible. Outside of that, Sagan and Jamie Benn, as far as 20 and 21, these guys may be top six, top seven point producers this season. The Dallas Stars have made some drastic changes, including Ben Bishop. They got a goaltender that can stop a puck. Mark Mathot was signed in the offseason to help the defense. And they also signed some guy from Montreal you might remember, who was the Canadian's best forward. Look for the Stars to do a hell of a lot better than that. And Ben and Sagan at those numbers, it, it, it's atrocious why they would be there. Ryan Suter makes no sense at number 22 either because Ryan Suter's a nice defenseman. Love to have him on my team. He's not going to get to those kind of points as a top three or four defenseman overall in the NHL. And Brad Marchand, all of a sudden, he jumps from a top five player to the 23rd spot. No sense at all. Patrick Line, he's a top 15 guy. Guy. He may win the Rocket Richard Trophy this year as the top goal scorer in the NHL. To list him at 24, uh, I, I don't know where the premise has come from for the hockey news, but uh, overall, uh, I, I'll give them a strong 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. You know, if that's a beauty contest, I can guarantee you the girl's either ugly or fat. These, these, That is not a compliment, uh, hockey news. Rose Beef, what do, what do you think about those comments? Are you with Dave? Yeah, I, I pretty much agree with everything he says. Uh Austin Matthews, I guess I'm trying to temper expectations a little bit, so I thought eight was a little high after only one year in the NHL. 69 points. He will improve on that, though, right? He he will. I just think you got to prove it over a certain period of time. I got him down for 75 points this season. I'd be perfectly happy with that. Can I that. ask you a question that might be awkward? Sure. Do you love him? Do you love Austin I Matthews? I love Austin Matthews. Yeah. Okay. Right. yeah. That's the second guy that wow. said that to me. Coach Frank is the first. On that note. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>